significant challenges and opportunities for PhD students. Uh, whether you are interested in science and you are interested in developing new technologies, the Department of Energy Science and Engineering provides you several opportunities. We have state-of-the-art uh, research facilities uh, where we can uh, develop new materials. We can look at converting these materials into cells and modules for photovoltaic. We can look at batteries and modern new batteries. We can look at power electronics, microgrids. There is a whole world of opportunities for you. We have a diverse set of faculty and students um, drawn from different disciplines of engineering and science and you are likely to have a vibrant community of people you can interact with and you can focus on doing cutting edge research which will make a difference in the country's energy scenario and at the world stage. Hello everybody, my name is Yusuf Gupta and I am a PhD student. Uh, I work under the supervision of Professor Surya Narayana Dola from Energy Science and Professor Kishore Chatterjee from Electrical Engineering Department. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Furaila Tamchitranjan. Uh, I am a fourth year PhD student here at uh, the Department of Energy Science and Engineering. Uh, I worked under the supervision of uh, Professor Chakir and Professor Dulla. Hello, I am Mayur Poonkide a PhD student working under the guidance of Professor Venkat at the Department of Energy Science and Engineering. I am Deepak Yadav. I am a PhD candidate at Department of Energy Science and Engineering, IIT Bombay. I am working with Professor Banerjee. Hi, I am Abhinanda Sengupta. I am pursuing my PhD under Professor Sagar Mitra in the Department of Energy Science and Engineering from July 2018. The key prerequisite for India's transition to a low carbon economy is the production of sustainable and viable alternative fuels. So my topic basically looks at assessing the viability and sustainability of various processes and technologies for the production of solar fuels and hydrogen. We at Power Engineering Lab work on various electrical and control aspects of or electronic interfaces which are generally used for renewable integration and we also work on weak and isolated power system such as those applied for remote areas such as villages and we perform simulation and software studies which are later validated on hardware setups built by us in the lab and also on industry standard real-time simulators. We are working on modeling and simulation of the electrochemical energy storage system. In my research work, a power management control strategy is developed for a stand-alone solar PV battery hybrid power system. This would help to understand the behavior of lithium-ion battery under various operating conditions. Such accurate predictions are required to design a better battery management system. So uh, the broad area of my research uh, deals with integration of renewables in uh, power networks, especially in smaller uh, networks such as microgrids. My main area of research deals with the estimation of inertia, both synchronous and non-synchronous inertia in the system, so that we can take adequate measures to uh, combat uh, this lack of inertia and to maintain a stability in frequency in the overall system. We are all familiar with the terms like sustainable energy, green energy, but what we don't think about is how do we store that energy and make it useful for our future generations. So my area of research is energy storage devices and when we talk about energy storage devices the first name that comes to our mind is lithium-ion batteries. So what I am trying to develop here is an indigenously developed sodium-ion battery which would be complementary to that of lithium-ion batteries because of its cost. Now for my research topic, I, since I am dealing with sustainability and technical economic analysis, I have access to EcoInvent database, SIMA Pro software for life cycle analysis, eSanky for uh, uh, assessing the flow of energy in uh, various processes, 
then uh, of course I, we have access to MATLAB etc. Apart from this we have unlimited access to various international journals that keeps us update, updated with the latest research trend in your field. Regarding research facilities, uh, we have ample lab space, we have high-end computers and enough resources to build our hardware setup. We also have uh, emulators and uh, industry standard real-time simulators and we also uh, share a lot of uh, resources and equipment from electrical engineering department. So I work mostly in simulation environments. Uh, so we have uh, world-class facilities in terms of real-time simulators or even if you want to go for uh, real-time hardware in the loop or controller or even uh, power hardware in the loop, we have uh, such facilities. The grid integration lab that we have over here in the department has uh, high-end facilities such as uh, Opel RT simulators, uh, grid simulators and even wind turbine, uh, PV and battery emulators. The department new building has the state-of-the-art research facility, both for experimental and computational work. Here, the laboratories are open 24 by 7 for the student. In our lab, we have workstations which have high computational power. Such high-performance computing helps to model the complex nature of the lithium-ion battery. The interdisciplinary nature of our department actually gives a wide horizon as in the thing is that if suppose I'm working on uh, developing sodium ion batteries so it just not comes with making a battery it, it involves chemistry from material science uh, perspectives as well as from uh, engineering departments like if you involve mechanical engineering there's electrical engineering chemical engineering so having met all these kinds of different background people actually helps me in increasing the uh, potential of my work that I'm doing the interdisciplinary nature of our department has ensured that I develop expertise in various fields so for my research program I have used thermodynamic analysis which is like uh, mechanical engineering, uh, then basic process engineering which forms a part of uh, chemical engineering, then electrochemistry which is again an interdisciplinary kind of uh, field and these things they finally culminate into something which is core energy research. According to me, the interdisciplinary nature of the department is the best part. Let me give you my example. I am graduated in mechanical engineering and masters in thermal science whereas my PhD guide is from electrochemistry and chemical background. We both are working on mathematical modeling and simulation of the lithium-ion battery which can be used as an energy storage device in hybrid power system. It's super exciting to look at the same problem from different point of view. Also in our lab, students are from basic sciences as well as engineering background. Due to excellent academic reputation of IIT Bombay both in industry and academia, we have a lot of opportunities in terms of placement uh, in industry here in India as well as abroad. Uh, many of our seniors have gone for postdoc positions in top universities and few of our seniors have also gone on to become faculties in uh, good NITs and IITs. IIT Bombay along with Energy Science Department provides a lot of opportunities not only during the PhD but also after PhD. Like for example, during the PhD we have quite a lot of industrial collaborations as well as academic collaborations which helps us in providing opportunities after PhD. Like for example, from our lab, Electrochemical Energy Laboratory, there are many startups. And also there are placements in postdocs and all which gives us immense opportunities after PhD. Department organizes various seminars for students, which is an excellent opportunity to meet professors from foreign university. Also, department organizes an international conference on advances on energy research. We use this event for networking, which helps to get a postdoc position or a job after PhD.